on the right track, I'm finally found. You need some soul searching, the time is now. All I need is one mic. So my mom's birthday comes and goes, okay? And then the next day, which was a Sunday, at 10.51 p.m., I get an email again from my brother, from his new email address. As Liana, as of Friday afternoon, the court was still waiting for the oath, but hopefully they have it now. So that conference scheduled for tomorrow does not have to be adjourned. Now, there was a conference scheduled for my objection, but it... It wasn't going to happen because we had signed this oath. So I don't even know what they were talking about. Whatever. So he says, I have attached a list of bills that needs to be paid in addition to the few credit cards she had. And I'm thinking like, obviously, I know what bills need to be paid because I listed them in my last email to you. Thanks. Thanks. So it says the accounts I have on file are four Chase accounts two individual investment accounts, her 401k, her profit sharing, and her additional life insurance policy. Make note of this additional life insurance policy thing, okay? I also have some checks written out to her as well. What? How do you have checks that are written out to her? What are you talking about? Where'd you get checks from? The lying begins. So if you have any other bills or accounts, could you please send me information on them so we are both keeping the same records? I also have the FEIN number for the estate and, she, and they give me the number, okay? Now, this is where things get a little weird. If you have the FS6 for her license plates, we can get the final auto insurance bill lowered. What is an FS6? Have you ever heard of an FS6? Because I haven't. What are you talking about? I had no idea what this FS6 thing was, so uh, of course I had to look it up. I don't even know, I don't even remember what it was, but it was like something to basically say that we turned in her license plate, which we didn't because her car was auctioned off. So how would I get an FS6 for her thing? I, I couldn't even get any information about her car. Why would I have this FS6 thing? Also, why are you talking to me as if I would know what the F that even is? I don't think my brother would know, but you know, Satan would know what an FS6 is because Satan is a shady ass insurance sales rep. Hmm, hmm. And here we go, okay? When it comes to the house, would you like to interview a few local real estate brokers and see what they think it should be listed for? Like, uh, yeah, when it comes time to sell her house. One of her neighbors who is renting expressed interest in buying the house home. What? I'm not sure that it'll work out, but if we can sell it without listing, we wouldn't have to pay a real estate broker commission. Thank you, Stephen. Now... What neighbor? I talk to all the neighbors. First of all, what neighbor is renting? As far as I know, all the neighbors own their homes. And when did they express an interest? Another question would be, how did this neighbor know that the house was for sale? How, how would they know there was no sale sign or anything outside? And I'm sorry, but doing any kind of business with you without a real estate broker sounds a little shady to me. No matter what, every email that my brother wrote to me, I would forward it to my attorney. In the meantime, we still didn't have these letters. My attorney told me, don't even respond. Like I told him, I'm like, listen, I, these emails to me sound like my brother's wife. I'm sorry. It just does not sound like my brother. He just doesn't talk like that. It just doesn't sound like him. You know, when you know somebody, like you could tell who they are, even through text, like you could tell if it's them or not. This does not sound like my brother at all. This sounds like a cold, uncaring, manipulative, greedy asshole. Sounds like Satan to me. I'm I'm like starting to get aggravated now because I'm like, I need to know if this bitch is the one writing these emails or not. When we wrote up that agreement, we added this stipulation for this exact reason, because I did not want to communicate with this asshole about my mom's estate. Whoa. About my mom's estate. Whoa. I didn't want to communicate with this bitch about my mom's estate in any capacity. No, I'm not talking to my brother's wife. So I went down to my attorney and I told him, listen, I know that this is her writing these emails and I'll find a way to prove it. I, I said, it just does not sound like my brother. They're already like getting pushy with things. Dude, chill out. We didn't even get our papers yet. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. And, and it wasn't just me. My attorney also said the same thing. It was like, dude, there's no rush right now to be like making lists of bills. And we can't do anything without this, the papers, the letters. Okay. So we have to wait for these letters to come in. You're making all these lists. Which I forgot to show you guys these lists that they sent along with the email that I, 
I just know how my brother is. I know how he does things. And I get these lists, okay? These typed out lists with all the bills listed and the amounts due. And it's like highlighted. And to me, my brother doesn't do this. My brother would never do this. It's just not his thing. Like, you know, when you, you know somebody and you know how they operate in life. And I just can't see my brother sitting down and making this organized list. While he's more organized than me, he's not that organized. And I just cannot ever in my wildest dreams fathom him doing this. Some of these bills I hadn't even reviewed yet, so I never saw statements or anything. So like, how do I know if these are even valid? They're just pushing me, like, pay these bills off and, and that's it. Uh, and then they attached this other list of what my brother was owed because of all the money that he paid out. Uh, and that's all he paid out. You know, he had told my Aunt Debbie that he laid out some crazy amount, like $12,000. And clearly we can see that that's not true. But either way, I know my brother did not make these lists. Period. End of story. My brother doesn't do that shit. This is not my brother. I can't even imagine him doing any of this shit. Sitting there typing lists out with little bullet points and shit. Like, that's not him. I'm already getting aggravated because I know I'm not talking to my brother. And I keep suggesting to... I saw in my email back... I'm suggesting we meet up. I'm suggesting we talk on the phone. And that's just being completely blown over. Right now, I can't do anything about it because I don't have the papers. My attorney basically told me that if my brothers are refusing to talk to me, it doesn't matter right now. So don't answer him and see what happens once we get these letters. That was the whole next thing was to wait for these letters. My attorney had received this thing called a decree in the mail. It's my stress bowl. I need it. And he told me that he had ordered 10 copies of the letters okay because you need to give copies of these letters like official copies they have like a stamp like a seal in them and you have to give them to like these companies so he ordered 10 copies and they were we were supposed to be getting them okay two or three more weeks passed by right and now we're in august and i'm like where's these letters i never answered him after that okay i, I took my attorney's advice said don't answer him when you guys finally get the letters then answer him and just tell him that you want to meet up and talk to him okay so it's now August 9th, okay? So it's like two weeks later, I get another email from him. Leanna, the court has all the papers and everything is set to go now. I have attached a list of bills that needs to be paid in addition to the few credit cards she had. Now I'm reading this letter and I'm like, this, this sounds very familiar, all of this. He sent me the same exact email, but he changed the first paragraph to say that the court has all the papers and everything is set to go now. So you notice how that email, he vaguely said the court has all the papers now and everything's set to go. I'm like, what does he mean by that, right? Two weeks had gone by and I still didn't get these papers. My attorney's telling me he ordered them and they should be here any day. But yet he's not doing anything to get them. I call up the court, okay, and the court tells me that they already sent the papers out. The papers went out the same day as the decree. Now, my attorney had already received the decree and told me that he received the decree. So I'm like, okay, so then where's the letters? How come we don't have the letters? So I have to go through this whole big thing. I end up finding out that the 10 copies that my attorney says he ordered went to my brother's attorney. So I finally get a copy of the letters, okay? And we look on them and my name is spelled wrong. Some asshole, <laughs> my attorney, wrote Leanne instead of Leanna because that is like the curse of my life. Thank you, mother and father, for giving me the name Leanna because nobody understands it. Everywhere I go, people are like, hi, Leanne. No, Leanna. Leanna. There's a fucking A at the end. Nobody seems to understand this. I will go to people. I'll be like, hi, what's your name? And I'll be like, oh, it's Leanna. And they're like, oh, nice to meet you, Leanne. And I'm like... Like, do you just not like A's at the end of words? Why does nobody see the A at the end of my name? I don't understand. Anywho, now I'm like, wow, that's f***ed up. My brother already had these letters, right? And instead of telling me, I wrote him an email telling him that I didn't have the letters yet. And instead of telling me that he had these letters, he had these letters and, and completely acted like he didn't have them. Instead, he writes me this vague email and says everything is set to go. Meanwhile, he, ha he already had these letters but didn't tell me. Like that's shady shit right there. Why didn't you tell me that you got them? I can't find the one email, but I know I wrote back to him and I didn't respond to anything he said. I just told him to call me. Please call me so we can meet up in per or give me a day or something that we can meet up in person and discuss these things, okay? This is what he writes back to me. 
Liana. Hmm. Liana, I will be unavailable to meet in person as I will be handling most of the estate via email and or my attorney. Per my attorney, I will only be needed in person to open the bank account and to attend the closing. I have twice sent you copies of bills that I've paid and bills that need to be paid. Please send me the same from your end. If email isn't good for me for you, you can send them to me via USPS. Please email me your questions and or concerns that you wanted to discuss. I will review them and consult my attorney if needed, then send you my response. Thank you, Stephen J. Face. Yeah, yo, when I got this shit, man, I was like, are you kidding me? Why are you refusing to meet up with me in person and talk to me on the phone? I have to send you bills? So if email's not good for me, the next option, even though you live about three miles away from me, you want me to mail you shit? This asshole who I'm talking to on this, this isn't my brother. Why are you refusing to meet up with me? Why are you refusing to talk on the phone with me? And now you're telling me that your attorney told you that the only time you're gonna need to meet up with me, discuss things in person, is to open the bank account and to attend the closing. That's, is that real life right now? You're really serious about that. I was like fuming. I called my attorney right away and I'm like, dude, this asshole is refusing to talk to me basically. How are we going to settle an estate without like communicating on the phone and in person? My attorney was like, that is absolutely ludicrous. So I go down to my attorney's office and right in front of me, he calls my brother's attorney up, okay? So I write down, I, I write back to him August 18th after I go to my attorney's office. And I say, Stephen, I just sat down with my attorney who called your attorney while I was there. Your attorney agreed that we need to meet up and discuss how this estate is going to be settled as co-executors. I already asked you when you can meet up and was told you would be unavailable and your attorney advised you that you'd only need to be present to open the bank account and for the closing. That is not what he just told my attorney on the phone. He also informed us that you received 10 official copies of the letters, yet you never responded to my email where I told you I didn't have copies. You never informed me that you had copies. I just want to remind you that you signed an agreement. Please pay close attention to numbers two and three on that agreement. And just to remind you guys, number two on the agreement stated that one executor cannot do something without the approval of the other. And number three said that all of the transactions for the estate must be executed by the executors in their own personal capacity. That was my way of saying, hint, hint, tell your wife to stop writing letters. You better get your shit together. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. We have to do this together and communicate. If you are looking to save money by not hiring a real estate agent and wanted to get money off the last month's insurance, your refusal to communicate with me is going to cost more than any amount we could save. We are both on the letters. Let's not waste mom's hard-earned monies on lawyers, as you said when you emailed me back in March. I have a pretty flexible schedule, so please let me know when you can meet up so we can start settling this estate the right way and get it done in a timely manner so we can move on with our lives. P.S. If you want to talk to me, you could also call me. Gave him my phone number, as if he didn't already have it. That is much easier for me as I do not check my emails often. This is what I get back in response. I should read this in Satan's voice because that's who's writing this shit. Liana, yesterday I received the certificates I requested. I would assume you would have requested your own copies. I will bring one for the bank and an extra one for you when we meet at Chase to open up an estate account. I will make an appointment at Chase near my office as I will be doing this on my lunch break. I, I, I can't do the whole thing in her accent. I will make an appointment at the Chase near my office as I will be doing this on my lunch break. Once again, please send me the bills that need to be paid and also an itemized bill for what you have paid for the estate to date. I have sent you my copies twice. I never asked this person to send me anything because I still didn't have the letters that I needed to do any of this shit. But that's besides the point. For the mail, I suggest we do a change of address on all known accounts and creditors. Then we could do a mail forward for everything else. We could either get a P.O. Bo box or just have it forwarded to your address. Since most of the bills already come to my address and you have online access to those accounts, I, I'll continue to receive them. Bitch, who are you talking to? Who the f*** you to tell me what you're gonna do? Ooh, I'm getting mad all over again.
you can have all the investments go to yours and provide me with online access. There was no point. We were going to close the investment account. You're tossing me a bone by letting me get the canceled investment accounts mailed to my house. She, feel free to call the investments and change address. Bitch, I'll feel free to do anything because this is my mother's estate. <laughs> Thanks. I would suggest meeting at the bank to open the estate account and get the bills paid. Then we could take it from there. Paying the outstanding ba uh, balances is the most pressing matter. Again, send me the list you have including address, account numbers, and amounts due. I will write out envelopes for each and the bank can issue, issue checks that day. Once I have your list, I will make the appropriate appointment. Notice how nowhere in there does she address, you know, calling me or meeting up in person or anything that I said about what their lawyer said. She just completely glazes right over it and proceeds to tell me what I'm going to do and what she's going to do, like she's the boss. I discussed this with my attorney and he was like, you don't have to give anybody any list of anything the creditors have six months six months from the date that the letters are issued okay yes of course paying debt off is is the first step we didn't even sit down and like look through the bills together and see like what's what whatever she could do to avoid me and my brother talking to one another that's what this bitch wanted to do because she's psychotic okay this whole like last line about like you're gonna write envelopes out and bring them to the bank like what who does that my brother would never do that he would never be like oh i'm gonna write the envelope i i am a hundred percent sure at this point in time my brother is not writing these emails because he would never be a dick like this with these lists and oh he's gonna write the envelopes out and bring them to the bank like i don't need you to write envelopes honey thank you i have pens at my house thank you number one thing and i'll show you guys is to pay off debt too quickly you really should wait for creditors to make claims on the estate and to make sure that they're valid claims everything was rush 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 because they just wanted to collect their money that was what this was all about so it was all like let's go let's go liana so we could get our money this was all business okay i felt like i was talking to a cold robot not my brother a robot because satan is a robot sent from hell at this point, I know I'm not talking to my brother. And, you know, the whole refusing to meet up with me, like, I had it. I was done. When I sat down in my attorney's office that day, I heard their attorney on the phone saying to my attorney, that's ridiculous. You cannot settle an entire estate through emails. They're going to have to meet up with each other at some point. But then my brother's lying and telling me that his attorney told him that we don't need to meet up. I'm going to leave that one there.